All right, driving down Water Street in downtown Mobile, chances are you'll see some work being done to the outside of the History Museum of Mobile. Yeah, the building's fine. Amazingly, this is just some cosmetic work being done after this building has been around for more than a century. Toy Thornton is in the newsroom with more on the history. Toy. Well, Brian and Lenise, the 162-year-old building, which once served as City Hall, helps to make up the fabric, the look, and the feel of downtown Mobile. And folks downtown say they don't mind pardoning the progress. It's been standing since the mid-1800s, a national landmark sitting in the heart of downtown Mobile. It's pretty neat, I guess, <laughs> to, to think about it that way, yeah, it's pretty neat. The building, which has seen good days and bad days, is undergoing a few minor repairs. The city says the repairs are merely to replace some plaster that came loose and repair the entry gates to the alleyway. The structure is intact. It's a nice, you know, architecture of the building. It's a nice um, staple to the downtown area. For visitors, it just looks like a pretty building until they go inside to find out more. Just enjoy and figure out and see things that we've never seen before. Uh, we like to travel and like to have new experiences. For locals, especially those like David Fallon, who work downtown and see it every day, it means a bit more. Um, it's important to the city because of it's a part of the history. Um, I know that they have a new city hall, but it, being that it's still standing is very important. And most of the people we spoke to today, even off camera, weren't aware of how old the building is. They were very impressed at the upkeep. Live in the newsroom, Toy Thornton, Fox 10 News.